Hi and welcome, my name is Andrew and I'm going to go over a bunch of tutorials that I wrote. This is the first one, it's about the ArcGIS API for Python. I'm calling this the 5 minute tutorial series. So you might be wondering, what is the ArcGIS API for Python? Well the ArcGIS API for Python is a package that's designed to work in Python 3 and it's not backwards compatible with Python 2, which is good because Python tool 2 has been deprecated. The API is a collection of modules and sub packages that allow you to work with geospatial information. You can do feature analysis, raster analysis, you have geocoding, network analysts, you can do deep learning, content management, site administration, and a lot more. Now let's dive a little deeper and I'm going to tell you a little more. Hopefully you're listening. And you might be thinking there's a lot of APIs out there that do geospatial stuff. While this is true, one of the benefits of this API is that it's all-inclusive. So you can not only work with information that's hosted as web services, both in OGC format and in uh, Esri uh, feature service format, you can also work with local data as well, all with one, one install. So you just do, you, once you install the package, you go ahead and you use it. And you don't have to worry about installing a whole bunch of all, uh, other little components that you would do with a lot of the other packages that are out there. So some of the other benefits that I want to point out is that it, it integrates across multiple platforms. This means you get the same experience regardless if you're working on Windows like I am right now or if you're on a Mac or you're working in the Linux operating system. It can be powered both by open source and the ArcPy package. So that means you can either use Shapely if you prefer, or you can use ArcPy to be your geometry engine. It's free to use, just like all the open source software out there. It makes deep learning very easy. If you've ever written code to do deep learning, oftentimes it takes multiple lines of code. And what you could do in maybe 30 or 40 lines of code can now be accomplished in one or two with the ArcGIS API for Python, the Learn module. You have access to a wealth of geospatial information. We have Jupyter widgets in this package. And there's a thing called the Space Enabled Data Frame, which get, allows you to work with spatial data uh, with that pandas flare. So how do we get started? Well, it starts by doing some imports, and we can import ArcGIS, and we can say from ArcGIS.GIS import GIS. And this is going to allow us to connect to ArcGIS online. And let's take a look how to do that. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and connect to ArcGIS online. So we're going to instantiate our class, so we're going to do GIS and pass the no variables. This is going to allow us to connect to ArcGIS online as an anonymous user. And we're going to assign to the variable GIS. Once we we've done that, we're going to search for some content. So we're going to do gis.content.search and we're going to put in a query string, just like you would, you would Google something on the internet. And we're going to filter our search to say we only want feature layers. We're going to take the first results from our list and we're going to display it on a map. Let's go ahead and do that. So I said geocode to the location of Brooklyn, New York, set the base map to be this a dark gray base map. We're going to add the parks information that we found from before, and we're going to display it on the map. And in four lines of code, we've created a map widget. And we can pan, we can zoom in, we can zoom out, we can rotate, we can switch between 2D and 3D, and we can do a lot more, especially if we want to uh, work against this map widget programmatically. And we'll get to that in later tutorials. So. If you're ready to try it out, there's two main ways to install it. And I'm going to tell you how. First, we can use Condos. Condos is, a, is the Anacondas package manager, and it's free and open source. And it's becoming uh, a nice way to create isolated environments. You can easily clone existing environments and add new things to it to see what's going to happen. If you have Condos, you just do Conda install dash C Esri, and then you put ArcGIS. And this will install the Conda package and the widget we just saw from before. If you're more of a traditionalist, you can use pip. And this is another package uh, management tool right in Python. And you just do pip install ArcGIS and it'll install the widget and everything else. 
uh, management tool right in Python. And you just do pip install ArcGIS and it'll install the widget and everything else. I also want to mention that Python has um, a large wealth of other packages on PyPy. So beyond the ArcGIS API for Python, there's a whole robust uh, collection of Python packages. And uh, PyPy is the official place where you can these are hosted. And thank you for listening to this tutorial.